my favorite women of Chicago grew up in Lakeview. She can sum up her passion in three words, eat, travel, rock. It's the name of her blog and her web series. Please welcome my friend, Kelly Rizzo. Aww. Kelly? Good to be here, Ryan. Yeah, we've been talking about getting you on the show for years. It's finally happening. Years. Yeah, and, finally. and I'm learning some things about you, too, like the, the backstory of how you started this entire thing. Yeah, it's 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 been a journey. It's been quite a quite a journey. I mean, I started out I was a realtor for over a decade and then you might have all heard there was a little market crash not too long ago. Right. And, you know, it got pretty dismal. And that mixed with a divorce that I was going through at the time. I'm like, "You know what? How do I like reinvent myself and do what I really want to do, do what I'm passionate about?" And I just said, "You know, what do I love and what can I share with the world?" And I'm like, well, I love food, I love music, I love traveling. And so literally, right then and there, I just went online. I'm like, eat, travel, rock. Bought the website, started blogging, and a few years later, here I am doing all this crazy stuff. Yeah. It has to be pretty scary. I mean, yeah. even though the market was bad and it was like you should be walking away, it had to be pretty scary. You still got to pay your bills, right? right? And you're kind of taking a leap of faith starting a company and, and at first not making any money. Right. Uh, how frightening was it? It was scary, but it was, you know, I didn't necessarily back out of real estate all at once because, you know, it, as I said, you, you got to pay some bills, right? But it was a gradual progression to where it started kind of snowballing. And I was doing more and more and more, whether it was with TV, with the blogging, with, um, with my web series. And it's gotten to a point now where it's just... Become incredibly busy and a full-time job. So right, and eTravelRock.com is the website. Now, yeah. I was at a, a concert last summer. She also makes cameos apparently in music videos because I was <laughs> at Florida Georgia Line, and they have a big jumbotron behind the stage, and yeah. you're on it. Oh, yeah, and you're in this music video for them. Uh, how did this come about? You you're know like what? The star of the video too. Yeah, yeah. I, I've had a couple little uh, music video cameos. Oh, we're not going to see the makeup scene. Okay, go. Oh, there oh, it is. There it oh. Is. Yeah. oh. friends of mine for a while and they asked me to be in their video. I was actually driving cross country from Nashville to LA and I get a call from their manager and they're like, hey, BK needs you down in Cancun for this video in two days. I'm like, well, I'm in New Mexico right now. My passport's in Chicago, but I'll be there, you know, and yeah, but and it, was, it was a pretty fun job, you know, Th those are the good ones. Yeah, I know there, there are some of your favorites. You've gotten to interview a lot of big time people in music. Mm -hmm. You said Dee Snyder was one of your favorites from Dee Twisted Snyder. And I've done so much work in country music, but of course it is, you know, eat, travel, rock. And the consummate rock star is Dee Snyder, And he was just so cool. And yeah. we actually chatted a lot about food. And that's what I love to do is bring food and music together. And he was, he was just a blast. Yeah, he's I mean, a sweetheart there's... of a guy, too. We've had him on the show as well. Right. You, you, yeah. you think he'd be so scary and intimidating because he's yeah. like, you know, a twisted sister. And yeah. he was just... He was, he was just a sweet little guy. Nice guy, yeah. Tall guy, but sweet. All right, so we got to get uh, Eat, Travel, Rock. You got to give us three tips. Place to eat, place to go maybe this weekend, and a place to rock. Yeah, I've out. got a few places for you. So if you don't want to take a full vacation, but you want to, you know, kind of feel like you're getting out of the city, we can go to Milwaukee. Okay. Um, there's La Festa Italiana, which you would appreciate there being a paisan. Yeah, right. La Festa Italiana is the nation's largest Italian American festival. And it's going on, I believe, next weekend, and it's like authentic Italian food. Food and traditional Italian music and parades, and it's where anyone can go to feel like an Italian. Yeah, you sold me with the food. All right. Yeah, so, uh, okay. So, if you want to then head a little bit farther south, go to Merrillville, Indiana, Star Plaza Theater. Um, this is, of course, the rock out part, but we've got some great shows going on there over the next week or so. We've got White Snake. I mean, come on. Yeah, relive those 80s. 80s rock band. Yeah. And Tony Braxton's coming up soon, um, I believe, the week following. And so that's, you know, a little way to get out of the city but not have to go too far. And then we're going to hop on back north a little bit. And when I want to escape the city, I just go visit my parents in Lake Forest. I mean, you'd be surprised that just 20 miles out of the city feels like a different world. Yeah, it really does. But there's does. still some really great places out in the suburbs that you don't have to feel like you're losing great culinary experiences by going up to the burbs. And Lake Forest, they have this great Mexican restaurant called Authentico. And then one of my favorite sushi restaurants ever is in Lake Forest called Sushi Kushi Toyo. Funny uh, little name, but great food. There you go. Really great food. 
And then we're just going to hop on back to the city. Now, this is where I go, and Ryan, you'll appreciate this, being a live music lover, but the Underground Wonder Bar. Okay. It's where I go to feel like I'm on vacation, but still stay in River North, stay in my neighborhood. And they have live music every single night until 4 a.m., but on Thursdays and Sundays, they have live reggae. So I go on in there, I grab a little red stripe, dance to some live <laughs> reggae, on, yeah. and feel like I'm in the Caribbean there without you go. having to leave. Not only the city, but the right. neighborhood. And I know you love country music, but you love all types of music. I love all types of music, but... Awesome. Eat Travel Rock. I love it. Check out the website, eattravelrock.com.